So now let's prove carefully that that's uh, the mirroring strategy is a winning strategy. So here's the theorem. For any non-negative integer n, because um, n equals 0 is going to make sense, if both piles have n sticks, player 2 has a winning strategy. And the proof is going to be by strong induction. Uh, and again, I'm not going to try and um, finesse the base case issue. It, it, it's, it's really a bad idea to try to do that, even when there's clever ways of kind of saying the base case is folded in with the general case. Um, it's almost always special. The base case here is uh, n equals 0, and where there's no sticks. It's a little bit degenerate case, but if there's no sticks to, to be drawn, then player one has lost already by default. Okay, so no sticks. Player one loses. And you might think, well, why do that case? The thing is that that's how every game ends. That's a silly way to start a game because it's really short and stupid, um, but it's how every game ends. So it is the natural base case. Okay. Um, and we're going to be able to reduce that everything to that. Okay, so the inductive hypothesis. Okay. Ooh. Um, okay. So now let n be uh, greater than or equal to one. Okay. So now we have a real game going on. The inductive hypothesis is that um, the mirror strategy. As described before, uh, wins for player two if each pile has k sticks, k strictly less than n. So we've got like 17 sticks in each pile. And through we, we just assume that whatever way somebody did it, maybe by playing every possible variation of games for years and years and years, we've verified that player two wins all games, up all equal pile games, up through 16 sticks. And we just want to verify that player two wins the 17 stick version. Okay. Well, very easy. Player one, um, player one moves. And now it's some, let's say, subtracts or takes, let's say, j sticks from one pile. OK, and then what do we got? We've got a pile with n minus j sticks and n sticks. Player 2 then can definitely equalize that. So player two makes it n minus j, n minus j. Now it's player one's move. There, we're back in an equal pile situation. The pile uh, number is less, strictly less than n. Uh, of course, one thing I maybe didn't mention is you can't just pass. You can't just say, I choose not to take anything. You have to take at least one or something. And that's why j is at least one. This is uh, less strictly less than n, so it's an example of one of these k's, and that is a losing position for number one, and in other words, a winning for number two. Okay, so it's really just making f formalizing uh, the intuition we had, which is if I can reduce a slightly more complicated, for numerically more complicated instance of a situation that I knew how to handle with smaller numbers then I can just do that and then repeat because I know how to deal with the smaller numbers. And so that's a, it's a really nice example of, um, of strong induction. Uh, and um, so we summarize the proof probably the, the last sentence. I don't write, won't write it down. Just say, th therefore, by strong induction, player two does have a winning strategy for all n. Because we picked a particular n, we allowed ourselves to assume that, they can, that the statement was true for all k less than n, and then that gets us to n itself. And then that gets us to n plus 1, and that gets us to n plus 2, and it gets, et cetera. Notice why we needed strong induction. Let me say that before I finish. Um, the j here was not necessarily 1. We needed to know if you start with a 17, suppose you know for sure you know how to play to win your second player, and you know how to win a 16 16 game. And then you're going to do a 17 17 game. And you're just hoping, praying that they choose to, choose to take with one stick, and then you'll reduce it to a 16 16. What if they take five sticks? 
and now it's 12 and 17, well, you can make it a 12 and 12, but if you can't be sure that you can win a 12 and 12, you're kind of stuck. The cool thing about this one was it doesn't matter. As long as you know you can, um, you know you can win zero zero by default one one two two three three four four five five six six all the way up to sixteen sixteen. Then if you're looking at a seventeen seventeen game and you're waiting for player one to play, they're going to reduce it to something you know how to win. But that's where the strong induction part of it comes in. That you need to be able to to count on being able to win all the cases up to, but not quite including the new one. Uh, so those are the Ks. Those are the up to, but not including. And that's the N is the new one that you're thinking about right at the moment.